Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to unroot and unbrick your HTC One back to complete stock. This means relocked and S on. So what we're going to do is go to settings and you're going to scroll down to where it says power and you're going to want to make sure that fastboot is unchecked. Now we're going to go back you're going to go to developer options and you're going to want to make sure that USB debugging is turned on. So once you do those two things we can go ahead and go back to our computer Alright, and on the computer, you're going to head on over to this thread, the Rev1 Developer Early Access Preview. Now, if you did not root with this method, that's fine. We're just going to reuse it so that we can lock the device as if it was never unlocked before we go back to S on. Mainly because I'm returning this because my SIM card tray doesn't work. Like, it doesn't read my SIM card at all. So I have to return this for warranty, and I figured, why not make a video about it? So if you scroll down, you see we have instructions. So let's go ahead and open up a command window and we're going to move this down here so it's in my HTC One folder so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that folder now alright what we're going to do now is ADB push rev1 to the data local temp folder so ADB push rev1 space slash data slash local slash TMP and slash again so we can go ahead and hit enter do adb shell we're going to do cd data slash local slash tmp hit enter now we're going to do chmod 755 one hit enter and this is optional if we, if we are rooted we can go ahead and grant that super user permissions so SU, not sure why it's not picking up my super user, but that's fine. We can just go ahead and continue. So what we can do now is go ahead and exit. Sorry, I didn't mean to put a space there. And now we can do ADB reboot. Okay, and now that our device is turned back on, we can go ahead and do ADB shell again. Go ahead and hit enter and we're going to go back to the CD data CD means change directory for those that don't know so we're going to do CD local TMP does the backslash no go ahead and hit enter okay and now it says on step six instruct rev1 to grant you s off we are already s off it doesn't matter if you use moonshine like I said before but we are going to do the period slash rev1 Instead of doing the dash S, we're going to go down to where it says lock the device. So dash L. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to do exit. And ADB reboot bootloader. And we're going to see what happens. And there you guys have it. We are locked. We can go ahead and get S on. So we're going to go back to this thread. If you go down to the bottom, it's, it's a very simple command actually. It says reverting to S on. It's going to copy this because it's easier. So we're going to do fastboot, write secure flag 3, copy, go back to our command prompt, paste it, and hit enter. And there we go. So what we're going to do is go back to our phone. On your phone, you can just go ahead and scroll down to reboot bootloader, hit the power button. And there's a clear shot. We have S on and we are fully locked. So now let's go ahead and run the RUU. Alright, so I will have a link to this Android files, the RUUs. I have the AT&T, so I'm going to be using the sing singular.us. If you have any other model, just find the correct model for you and go ahead and download it. So we're going to click this. And it says downloading, click file to start downloading. So we're just going to go ahead and download this. And you see, we are back to complete stock. Alright guys, so I will have a link below to everything that you need in the description for the drivers, 
the two websites and also if you need anything else just leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible and if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video